Um, so today I'm going to be talking about Chinese parts for your Harley Davidson. Are they worth it? Uh, what's the little life expectancy on them? And should you always really buy originals? So I'm going to run through um, what I've bought, what I've done to my bike, and the sort of money I've saved, and really more money. Well, in my opinion, I think I've saved myself probably a few thousand pounds by buying uh, accessories, and that's all I would buy. I wouldn't buy any major parts, uh, but by buying accessories from China, um, I think I've saved myself a lot of money. Uh, all the bits and pieces get lots of compliments. I do think that with a Harley, you definitely want to personalize your bike. Um, I feel that Harley um, build bikes and um, keep them really quite basic so that you can accessorize them and make them your own. After all, they go on for years and years and years. So here we are again with my 2012 Harley Davidson FLD Switchback in Sun Glow Red. Um, so the sort of things that I've done to the bike since buying it, I've owned this for two years now, coming on two years. So here we go, starting from the very front, let me list. So we've got the uh, little tiny tire cats, Chinese. We have these front axle cover nuts, Chinese. Um, then we've got my wonderful red sun glow halo headlight, Chinese. Um, we have uh, my levers, Chinese. We have mirrors from China. In fact, they don't actually say Harley Davidson on them. They actually say Harley David San. Although I am actually changing these. These were the first things I ever bought for the bike two years ago. They're starting to get a bit weathered now, but I think they cost me literally something like about 18, 20 um, pounds, which is possibly uh, something like about $15. Here we go, so moving down, we've got these cruising pegs. China. We've then got these incredible footboards, which are re really love these, love them so much, from China. They were like 100 pounds for the set. Um, nice things about these, I really like the length of them because on the switchback, which has got really, really nicely balanced wheels and tires, and you can really flick it about a bit. And coming from sports bike days myself, um, I appreciate that when I'm riding with these long boards, if I put my feet further back on them, um, then you really can you flick it about a bit. You get a much better balance, much better control. Um, here we go. Little sticker there from China. Um, progressive shocks. No, they're not Chinese, because as far as I'm concerned, they're a lifesaver. So something like that, um, progressives are straight from the manufacturer and um, had them professionally fitted. I don't want to mess around with anything like that. Then coming through here, a little bit of back trim on the back there. Well, that was from actually Halfords, local um, motor shop. Cost me literally about five pounds for strips and just stuck it on there um you've got the spider there on the back tail light cover from china and then let's see what we've got on this side i think this side's pretty normal um yeah the spark plug leads which actually do seem to make a difference to the performance uh they are screaming eagle originals and Derby cover, um, I bought that from the US through eBay. And that is really what I've changed. I've got the quad lock for my phone. Uh, well, that's quad lock. Um, nothing else was really changed at the moment. I've got some more mirrors coming uh, from China. So that's my lot there. So I hope you found these tips helpful.
thanks for watching this video um, if you liked it please uh, let me know in the comments box below and if you didn't like it let me know again if there's anything you'd like to see me do on my bike apart from get rid of it let me know and uh, feel free to subscribe thank you very much Bye.